Hi guys, so today we're stepping back into the miniature world of Timu. This time around though, Timu have given me a small budget for me to spend on whatever I like, which makes me incredibly happy. If you are a regular here, then you know that I do love to uh, spend my money on Timu. I always uh, go to Timu as my first protocol for miniature items and for my crafting supplies and other things as well, which I don't actually show on this channel as this is a crafting channel, uh, but I, I do a lot of my shopping on Timu. If you, however, have never downloaded the app and you are a new shopper on Timu, if you take a look in the description box, you will find a link for you to download the app and that app will give you a £100 coupon bundle. And there's also a code. I'll link the code on the screen as well now. Uh, new users can use that code and you'll receive 30% off at checkout also. So um, I hope you use that. Go and find some fun things. And for this video, um, it's like I say, it was a it was a small budget, so it's um, normally I buy a lot more stuff. And for the format of this video, or how I'm going to show you it, what I decided to do so that you know this wasn't just a three minute video, is actually go ahead and make some items with the few things which I'd bought. So normally when I make my Timu haul videos, I just show you what I have purchased and what I plan to make in the future with the items which I purchased. But to, like I say, to extend this video a little bit so it's not so incredibly short because it is a very, very small haul. Um, I spent the last few days making up some items, um, some miniatures for me to put into my project with these items. Um, I not only made miniatures, I also made some gifts. So I did buy a couple of um, random things with the intention of making these specific gifts, um, which I shall be um, handing out later on in the year to my friends. Um, but as typical with me, you know, I, I like to buy molds and I like to buy charms. Um, and so with that, actually, I think I'll start with the charms. So I did actually buy these last week and, uh, or the two, it was in, in my last haul and it was the, the tall charms. Um, when I purchased these, I didn't realize that it was the same set, which I bought in my last haul and because it was items on there which i didn't recognize but i thought oh they're really cool i'd love to have that but not a single one of those was inside um this little bag uh, which is fine uh, you know see the look of the drawer i still had some really cool items in here and if you have never seen these before um they are tiny little charms and this particular one it is a, a load of tools so you get things like ranches and spanners and there are screwdrivers and you know there's some little shovels and stuff uh, the shovels are going to be really handy for me in my upcoming project well the tools as well um but i'm doing a bit of um gardening miniatures at the moment and um like i don't have that one and that's really cool for those pliers and uh, this thing which i think is really awesome so this will sit on my explorer's desk for his is mapping i can't at the moment think of what they're called but you know it's uh, one of those things <laughs> um but yeah these are these are really really awesome miniatures um i really really love these uh, because they they make awesome miniatures so that was that um i will leave the the description and the prices of everything in the link below just because off the top of my head i can't remember what everything costs um this was a, another bag of charms now i bought these specifically for the scissors and the the some of the items in here they're a little bit at scale i mean that might work for a barbie or if there was something in between uh, but for one twelve, it's definitely too big and um things like that i'm not really sure what i would use those for but maybe just as a as a literal charm um but i really like these mirrors now i make vampire hunting kits and i have these little handheld mirrors inside that kit but the ones i have are slightly smaller but this is a really nice size so they could definitely come in handy for miniatures 
I love this little um, comb. I believe it's the type of comb that would hold a lady's hair out of her face once upon a time. And I did go ahead and decorate one of those. So I made it look a little vintage and I just painted it in a gold nail varnish and then I used a little bit of rub and buff and then I gave it a black wash on top of that to give it a little bit of age. Um, but like I said, I purchased this set because I really like the scissors. So they have these tiny little scissors which will go great in a sewing kit and they also have these really awesome uh, which to me look like um, fabric scissors so you know if i was doing a, a dress shop or something like that they would be fantastic and um, like i say the the rest of them um i'm not entirely sure what i'll use those for yet but you know saying that i always find a use for something now i like to buy molds if you are a regular around here then you know i do like to buy a silicon mold and some of these molds i've been seeing around on um you know other other um online stores and everything but a lot of the time i see them where you can buy the the actual end product of it and sometimes i've seen the molds uh, but i've never actually bought them because i didn't really know how big or small they were uh, but these these ones they work fantastic they, well they're perfect in 12 scale actually so this one is a miniature tray and there are four trays on side there um like I say the i can't remember the prices of everything but the, the 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 links and the prices will be in the description box but i went ahead and made this set and i just used clear resin and uh, i didn't do it perfectly because some of them did have air pockets in it so i have little holes in them um but that's fine it can always be disguised and for me to obviously it's you know it's it's fine area to get in there but a little tip for you if ever if you buy one of these or if you have one of these you can get these little black bottles and i fill these with uv resin and then i can just pop it in around the edges like so and then cure the uv resin you know or if you're using epoxy resin whatever it is um you could also use the clear bottles um like this type and then you could use the the finger of a black glove to you know block out the uv that would work also um but for this kind of mold you definitely need to have that that needle point for you to put that in but as a as a clear resin they make a, a really nice little pyrex dish look so i also got this tiny little candy mold and this is a two-part mold and again i used the same black bottle with my uv resin to get in there and just put it all the way around and then the end result of this mold is this really sweet little candy pot now this candy pot could also be used as a tea caddy, a coffee caddy, you know, um, cotton wool buds on a vanity station or something like that. Um, in fact, oh well, I have a little thing here, a little table, which might give a better idea of things. See, so, yeah, that looks very, very sweet. In fact, actually, it would sit really nice on a little. A little ladies dresser that would look really lovely um so that was 249 and this next one um which i think is called a flower cup so it's another silicon mold and again it has a, a small area so we need a fine tip for you to get that resin in there but for me i feel like this was a little larger than a cup so what i actually used this for was a vase and then I filled that vase with UV resin and then I made the flowers with the actual flower heads. Those are from the small flowers which I got on my last Timu haul. And for the stems, I actually um, used oregano from my last year's growing on my allotment. And I allowed that to go to seed and then that dried out over the winter. And then a couple of weeks ago, I went and picked it. And then that has now become the stems of my flowers. And so when we pop it on there, there we go. That looks 
lovely. So I really, really like these three molds. I think they, they're really nice. And the things that come out of them, like, I can't believe the details on that. That is so beautiful. And obviously you could, you know, you could use them. Um, you could put some resin dye in there, make many colors that you like. And they were 249, I believe, for each of those. Um, another mold, which I got, which when I seen this, I got very, very excited. And it's actually for roof tiles. And as soon as I seen this straight away, I was thinking Italian roofs. Um, and I have a little project in mind for future me. And this is this thing here. Um, I cut this out when I first got my laser cutter. I've just not got around to it making it yet, but this will eventually be for my best friend Inga, who, even though she's not English, she absolutely loves tea and she has many tea bags. And I can just imagine this in her log cabin, made all Italian, as she is also Italian obsessed, just like me. And uh, so I'll be using the tiles from this mold on that roof, as well as other projects. But when you make them, this is what they turn out like so i used a plaster of paris and sun mixture um, and i used the color the million and i think it was burnt umber for me to give this terracotta um color to it and what i'm also thinking with these is yes they you know they make roof tiles and stuff and this makes 40 of them um but what I also plan to do is on my garden, um, rooftop garden I'm doing on my adventurers project, uh, there when, cause these will break really easily. So I'm going to break some up and I'm going to use those to edge some of the bedding. And, uh, cause that's what I do on my actual allotment. When I took that on, um, there was a load of terracotta tiles, which I dug up. And so they now board my flower beds around the fencing. Um, so I think that that looks really cute. So that mold was three ninety nine. Another mold which I got was this. This is a very heavy duty mold, and the reason why I got this is when I look at it, it um it reminds me of um like a really ornate um I don't I don't know the the word for it um like in England you might call it coving. But, uh, you know, at the, at the top of between the wall and the ceiling. And um, so I'm thinking when another project which I want to do in the future is I want to build a castle. And there's going to need to be lots of very fancy carvings and stuff in the wood. And so I thought that that would look awesome. Um, I've not made any castings of this, uh, but I will add a photo of what the image looks like on Timu. And they are, they look very, very nice. Um, this mould was $9.99 and that was my most expensive purchase out of everything. Um, but that is, it's a very, very awesome mould. Okay, so the random things which I had purchased on Timu were some paper clips. Um, you don't necessarily go onto Timu and think, oh, I'm going to buy some paper clips. But I've been thinking about paper clips for quite a while because I wanted to make some bookmarks. And on my last haul, um, I accidentally left a mold with some buttons in there. I put it in there thinking, oh, now I can finally make some bookmarks. And then I thought I unchecked it. But when I come around to receive in my package, I had the um, the button molds. And uh, so I thought, well, now I'm just going to have to get some paper clips. So I got these multicolored ones for me to do um, some nice paper clips in the summer and springtime. I have a lot of friends who are into reading and I also have a friend at work who does a lot of charity work. So I'm going to make up a bunch for me to give to my sister, my best friend, my friends who read, and then a load for my colleague who does a charity for her to you know donate and make a bit of money for a charity and these ones um i got these specifically for crafting and the reason why i got these for crafting is because they are the the metal on these is super strong and it's these that i've been using which gave me so many ideas on the miniatures that i'm going to show you in just a moment but the bookmarks 
that I've been making. I've just been having a bit of fun earlier on this morning, just making a couple. Uh, so these, you know, I'll send these to my sister. Um, I think they're really cute. So I made this one using that Timu mold, which I got the other week. And um, this one is a sunflower mold. Another one which I'd made, which the down, these products down here are not Timu, but the paperclip here is. And I made this one for my sister. And the photo inside it is a photo of our grandma. And um, when she was, I think, about 17, 18, if I remember right. So uh, she'll absolutely love that. She was effectively our mum. So uh, she'll uh, she'll love that very much. And I used one of the silver, um, one of those paper clips to make that. And I just made it a little bit dirty, a bit grimy, uh, just so that it will match this antique brass feel a little bit more. Now for the actual miniatures that I've been making, um, I will show, I will do a video showing you um, how I made those a little bit later on because I do want to um, crack on with my other project real soon. Um, but oh, actually I forgot about this one. So this one was a bit of a a mistake. Um, I actually bought these thinking that they were tiny little charms because in my regular basket I have these but they are tiny charms. Um, these though are not tiny charms. So when I got these I was a little bit shocked and I said like, well, what am I going to do with those? But I love what has come out of using these. So I'll actually start showing you what I made with that. So the first thing that I did was as I'm working on garden things at the moment, was make this topiary of a poodle. So I just painted it green and then I covered it in, you know, miniature flocking turf. And then I put it in a mouthwash lid and I used some flowers from Timu. Uh, these are from my allotment. And then I use some string and I cut a load of ivy on my Cricut and uh, I'll put that all together. Oh, I'm using a stick as well for me to create this little topiary. And then another thing which I did with that was I made one into a stone sculpture, which I think turned, I think turned out really, really cute. And then when it was later on at night and I was very tired, I made a very wonky lamp. <laughs> but I think in the right setting, in the right house, I think that that would be really cute and really awesome. And then when it comes to paper clips, I made... Now, first of all, you're not thinking, where's your paper clips? Uh, because they are really hidden. But what I did was I soldered them together i cut them down and i soldered them to make a tiny tiny fence and then uh, i built this using uh, coffee stirrers and i made a trellis and then these things here were actually from my last timu hall where i had the big box of dry flowers i found these which were white stringy things hiding at the bottom and ever since i started on my professor's house i knew that i wanted to have wisteria and ivy all over that house uh, but i wasn't sure i was going to do the wisteria but when i found this instantly i knew i can make some wisteria so I'm very, very happy with that. And then for the leftovers of that same plant, I used to make some flowers and these are Timu flowers. And then the rest of it is from my allotment. So I'm very, very happy with that. And then the final item which I made with the paper clips was this little wind chime. Now, I don't know if you can hear this on the camera, I don't know if it's going to come out there on the camera or on my microphone. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it does actually chime. And so I just cut up some paper clips for me to make a little wind chime to go inside my garden. 
So like I said, this was a very, very small haul. So it's a very, very short video. Um, but I thought I'd just come on, show you what it is that I've been making in this last week with these products. So I hope you enjoy the video. It's a little bit different for me. It's not my usual kind of thing. Um, in my next video, I shall be back working on the facade of my adventurous house, Mr. Okio's house. And I'm going to be working on the upstairs. So creating the roof, the domed patina roof and... Um, installing the windows and and all of that so i'm very very excited about that and uh so i think as soon as i finish this video i'm going to crack straight on with that so as always thank you for spending your time with me today and i will see you real soon bye